Peter for Diablo 3. Good morning, Jay. Good morning. <laughs> We're wondering about the story in Diablo 3. Um, will there be a more linear or open storyline? Uh, we're planning on doing a, a more linear storyline. What we found as we've developed the game is that um, uh, as people play the game, they um, tend to get really into the action part. They get into the monster killing. And when we try to do a much more elaborate story with a lot of branching and things like that, um, we kind of tend to just lose people. So it seemed like a more direct story seemed to work a lot better. People understood what was happening and they understood kind of all the, the nuance. So we focused more on a, a linear story for the game. What options do I have to individualize my character in Diablo 3? To individualize? Uh, tons of options. Um, so you have um, all the items that you can wear, and every item has randomly generated stats. So what stats that you prefer is in how you, know, how you want to customize from that standpoint. Um, you have um, the new artisan feature we've added where you can craft items. You can do things like uh, enchant items with different abilities that you, you might want or different stats that you want to focus on. Um, we have a feature called runestones that allow you to modify your skills. So you could do things like take a skill like electrocute, which is essentially a single target lightning bolt, uh, and turn it into chain lightning. Or turn it into a fan of, of uh, you know, lightning that goes out in a cone in front of the wizard. So, um, and one of the features we've not really talked about, but we added fairly recently, is the ability to dye your armor sets. So you can go in, there's I think about 15 different dyes within the game. And you can, so you can go in and kind of alter the colors of, of pretty much anything you visualize on your player. So you've removed the town portals. Uh, is there an alternative to the town portal? Uh, there's a few things that we've put in to try and you know, offset the removal of town portals. One is just more frequent waypoints, so they happen more often, so you have more opportunities to kind of go back to town through those. Uh, we've also added the new salvage ability as part of our crafting system, so you can break items down into small components that stack pretty well, so that, that clears up bag space. Um, and you can also, we've added a, a, a new scroll type called the Scroll of Wealth that allows you to sell items just on location. Speaking of, of waypoints, so how, how many minutes do you think it takes from one way, waypoint to, to another in means of, of game time? Um, it it's varies depending on you know, the area, but usually 10 minutes, if that. Um, so 10 minutes is probably, yeah, it's probably about as long as it ever takes. What can you tell me about the PvP support in uh, Diablo 3? Uh, we haven't announced anything on PvP yet. So when we do, we'll let you know. What will the battle net be looking like in Diablo 3? Any, any hints here? So we've just started working on the Diablo-specific feature set for Battle.net, so we haven't made any you know, strict determinations of exactly what we're going to do. Um, but anything that you see in StarCraft 2 or in World of Warcraft, um, if there's a translation, if there's an equivalent way we can use that feature for Diablo 3, then we will. Uh, for example, the, the social network integration like Facebook and stuff like that. Yes, that will all be in, in uh, the Diablo 3 version of, the ba of Battle.net. And if you are currently playing World of Warcraft or StarCraft 2 and you've built up uh, a friends list, that friends list will be there and ready for you as soon as you start Diablo 3. I've got my sheet of paper here um, and a pen. Would you be kind enough to write down the release date? We, we, we won't just disclose it, of course. No problem. You look for trouble. Here you go. When it's done. Your words are dangerous. Your talk is cheap.